Alrighty, folks. Welcome on board. I'm Mike, one of the chief uh, executive pilots at uh, Drone Deer Recovery. We got a call earlier today that a hunter hit a very nice deer. They said 200 class. Hey, shot a big buck this morning. So they hit it uh, early this morning and they want to start looking at it around three. We're headed out now, should be, take about 20 minutes to get there. It's not exactly ideal out as far as like what I like to have the light at. Um, I'd much rather the sun not be out because we're getting a lot of, a lot of other data coming through the screen than uh, what we would if the uh, sun would be down. But they, uh, they said three, so that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna head out here and hopefully we can find this thing. Here we go. So yeah, this search will be uh, going on in Tuscarawas County, Ohio at a uh, undisclosed location. So w one of the challenges of early season using the drone is we got so many leaves and they're all holding heat. Uh, that's a challenge that I'm finding is I can locate the deer through the leaves, but then when I switch and turn, you know, turn to zoom, um, if there's just too much stuff in the way, it's, it's hard to go through them. But I can usually maneuver the drone to get in some type of position that I can still identify. The challenge is, is a lot uh, harder with the leaves. If that deer is in tall grass, I, I would put money on it that I'll find it. On location, here we go. Let's find this bruiser. Big deal. I would say. Okay, who's the shooter? Right here. Nice. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Let's go find this thing. Yeah. Do you have a map and just kind of show me like I'm gonna be able to be seeing what you're seeing. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. You can look over my shoulder. We're right here. Nice. So he's gonna be And this is <clears> like <throat> a thick uh, grass. Well or... this is yeah, this just goes down to the road. Mm. There's thick grass. There's a couple pine trees where he could be laying underneath. Yeah, I'll find him. This is not ideal, like with the sun being out to find thermal. It'll get, take me a little bit longer to find the data. Like there's going to be a lot of hot stuff. We knew him as a two-year-old and he disappeared mm -hmm. as a three-year-old. And I found his sheds on the neighbor's property as a three-year-old. And then he moved back in here as a four-year-old. And I watched him all season last year and was go actually going to shoot him last year. But then second week into the season, I decided to let it go because he was such a homebody. But then, yeah, now we're here. The reason he doesn't want to go in there, like, he has this tracking dog right here that he could just put on the track and boom, you know, walk up on him. But he thinks it might not be dead. And if it's not dead and they put that dog on him, that thing will jump and who knows where it'll go. It'll just keep on running. So what he wants me to do is locate the deer, figure out is it dead or is it alive, and then make a move. From the get-go, okay, let's find some more satellites first. Home point updated. Check map to confirm. Yeah. Right there is where we had blood. Right there. So just outside that green field. This is like all that red with, with the sun being out. It'll be harder, but I'll find them. I'm trying to locate this deer, but uh, the sun is shining on these trees like a lot. And to collect the data is getting a little tough. It'd be a lot easier if the sun would be down. It picks up all the hot stuff. All this red stuff, that's like... Uh, I'll tell you exactly how hot it is. It's like 70 degrees. So normally when I'm searching, I'm searching when the sun is down or when it's overcast. So then everything is white, like all these trees are white. And when I fly across like that cow down there, you see how red that thing is? Like that's how it would show. Like if everything is dark, then just bright red. And then you'd, it sticks out a lot easier. Okay, so now let me show you why this is hard. You see he's white and he's not red. Well, we're just going to try to find it with the color camera because the infrared is picking up lots of hot things. This deer is showing up white in the thermal instead of uh, showing up red. Yeah, because everything is so hot. 
the, the buzzards. They've been watching the buzzards all day. Um, and that's a sign that there's there's usually something dead around here. I found him because he's a, a white blob, but I'd prefer if the sun would be gone, he'd be a red blob. Everything is so hot right now with the sun being completely out, there's no clouds or anything, that the deer aren't showing up uh, like they normally do. I usually look for red, but everything is red and the deer are white. So we're gonna wait till the sun goes down and we get shadow casts across here and then we're gonna give it another go. The plan is to start uh, back up around 7.30, go probably right back where we were, because once those leaves and the grass cools down, the, the body temperature of the deer will show up. I, I believe I'll find it. I just need the right thermals. Alrighty, yeah, stay tuned. Make sure to hit the subscribe button because this is gonna get good and uh, we'll see you in a few hours.